So April is a uh, beautiful time of year. It's also a very important time of year. April is Autism Awareness Month. Now, you've probably seen the news and Facebook, social media. Autism now has skyrocketed across the world. It's up 75% just in the last 10 years. Nowadays, one in 88 children are diagnosed with autism. Boys, four times as likely to be diagnosed with autism. Now, because this is Autism Awareness Month, I wanted to tell you a little story about uh, Kevin, a, a little six-year-old that came to me. It was probably 20 years ago, probably my third, fourth year in practice. It was one of my first autistic children. And the parents were patients of mine, and they wanted to bring their kid in just to make sure that he, uh, he functioned at his optimal level, okay, whatever that might be. Well, so when Kevin first came in, he was incommunicable, right? He didn't speak at all. After about three weeks, all of a sudden, one day out of the blue, Kevin looked up and said, Mommy, out of the blue. Well, then only about three days later, Kevin looked at it and said, Mommy, I love you. Just out of the blue. Those are the first words he ever uttered. From that point, Kevin just kept growing and getting better and better and got to eventually to the point where he could speak, he could read. He, it was just unbelievable, right? We never know about the, the power, the power within the body. See, what I believe is, wherever the cause of autism is, whether it's, you know, vaccines or fluorides or uh, uh, genetics or birth trauma, what I do believe is, is all of those are some sort of form of stress on the body and on the nerve system, specifically the brainstem area. You know, there's been a lot of research that has linked autistic problems with the brainstem. And the reason is, is because thoughts, memories, emotions, see the brain's an organ. And so in order for the brain to work properly, it has to have proper communication through the brain. And that happens through the brain stem. It happens in a circuit of thoughts, memories, emotions, they all travel. If one of the bones in the top of the neck is out of a line, putting pressure on that brain stem, it interferes with the normal processes of the brain so the brain doesn't work as well as it should. That's how upper cervical doctors all over the world have been helping for years kids with learning disabilities, attention deficit, hyperactivity, sleep, immune functions. So what I believe is, is if one of those bones is out of line, it can create the symptoms of autism because I've seen it changed over the years. I've been at, we've helped hundreds of autistic kids just by finding what's going on in the top of their neck. If there's a pressure there on the brainstem, if we open it up, now the brain starts to work more the way it's designed to. Now, will it ever be 100%? Well, I don't know. In some cases, it has been. In some cases, not so much. If there's some damage there, then maybe, you'll ne maybe the, they'll never be 100%, okay? But don't you want your child to function at whatever their optimum potential is. I mean, for any child, whether you have autism or not, wouldn't you want, I mean, that's what any parent wants, right? Is your kid to live the best possible life they can, to have the best expression of health, vitality throughout every cell in their body. Well, I do know that if a bone's out of a line here, it can diminish that. If we can correct it and remove it, we can actually maximize whatever the potential is for that child, for each individual child, no matter what their problem is, okay? So, it, what I would like to do is, this is my book. It's called The Best Kept Secret in Healthcare. In here, we have a whole chapter just on kids. Talks about autism, learning difficult. The whole book is good. It's actually a four-time bestseller on Amazon. What I would like to do is I'd like to offer you this book. If you come by the office, I'd like to offer you the book for free. If you live anywhere in the Charlotte area, surrounding Gastonia, Belmont, uh, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, Concord, Kannapolis, Huntersville, Cornelius, Matthews, Pineville, Mint Hill. If you want to come by the office, I'll give you a free copy of the book. It, you can come from another state if you want to. If you come to the office, I'm really give it to you. If you don't live close enough to drive to the office, find the book. It's on, available on Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com. Um, get a copy of the book. I believe this will change your perspective, give you a new perspective on life and health and vitality and how your kids can be healthy without potential drugs and surgery. Okay. Now, if you want to come in, bring your child in, bring the family in to get checked to see if maybe there's something that may be interfering with your maximum potential, your children's maximum potential, we never charge for the consultation. That means you can sit down with one of our doctors and we'd be happy to go over what's going on with you. If there may be something we can help you with, if there is, we'll explain to you what we need to do there. If there's not, hey, worst case scenario, we'll find someone else that we believe, another specialist that we believe that can help you. No charge. So you really have nothing to lose. Give our office a call, 704-588-5560. We'll be happy to get you in, get you and your family checked to see if there's something we can do to help you and maximize your potential. Um, 
Otherwise, go to our website. Check it out. If you just want in for more, more information, there's lots of videos, lots of information on the website, UpperCervicalSpineCenter.com. Otherwise, give us a call. Come by. Get the free copy of your book. We look forward to meeting you. I hope you have a beautiful, great April, and we look forward to seeing you soon.